EMB's mission is to protect, restore, and enhance environmental quality towards good public health, environmental integrity, and economic viability. The vision of EMB is a nation empowered to protect our finite natural resources attuned to the pursuit of sustainable development for a clean and healthy environment that enhances the Filipino quality of life for present and future generations. EMB's thrust to ensure attainment of an environmental quality that is conducive for present and future generations. Air, water, and toxic and hazardous chemicals management. Pursue cooperation and partnership. Environmental impact assessment system implementation. Solid waste management. Secretariat assistance to the Pollution Adjudication Board. Lead by example environmental compliance and organizational performance. Actions of EMB advise the Secretary on matters relating to environmental management, formulate plans and policies, and set appropriate environmental quality standards on water, air, and noise for the prevention, control of pollution, and protection of the environment. Exercise direct supervision over its regional offices in the implementation of plans and programs. The central and regional offices of the Bureau discharge both staff and regulatory functions. Issues permits, clearances under RA 8749, RA 9003, RA 9275, RA 6969, and PD 1586, and monitor compliance to set laws. Provide Secretariat support to the Pollution Adjudication Board per EO 192. Provide Secretariat support to the National Solid Waste Management Commission as provided for in Section 4 of RA 9003. Develop and implement a research and development program in support of the following. Environmental and Compliance Monitoring and Study of Existing and Potential Environmental Problems and Issues. Implement a system for the recognition of environmental laboratories promote public information and education to encourage participation of uninformed citizenry in environmental quality planning and monitoring, serve as focal agency for international agreements and committees. Republic Act 6969, Toxic Substances and Hazardous and Nuclear Waste Control Act of 1990. This law aims to regulate, restrict, or prohibit the importation, manufacture, processing, sale, distribution, use and disposal of chemical substances and mixtures that present unreasonable risk to human health. It likewise prohibits the entry, even in transit, of hazardous and nuclear wastes and their disposal into the Philippine territorial limits for whatever purpose and to provide advancement and facilitate research and studies of toxic chemicals. The Environmental Impact Assessment System was formally established in 1978 with the enactment of Presidential Decree Number no. 1586 to facilitate the attainment and maintenance of rational and orderly balance between socio-economic development and environmental protection. EIA is a planning and management tool that will help government, decision makers, the proponents, and the affected community address the negative consequences or risks on the environment. The process assures implementation of environment-friendly projects. Public Act 8749 or the Clean Air Act of 1999. The law aims to achieve and maintain clean air that meets the National Air Quality Guideline value for criteria pollutants throughout the Philippines while minimizing the possible impact to the economy. The functions of the Water and Air Quality Management Section under the Environmental Monitoring and Enforcement Division are the following. We implement the rules and regulations of RA 9275, 
or the Philippine Clean Water Act. Specifically, the function is we conduct compliance monitoring of the issued discharge permit. We also uh, issue notice of violations. At the same time, we assist the conduct of technical conferences. We also build cases of exceedances of water fluent to be elevated to the Pollution Adjudication Board. The law aims to protect the country's water bodies from pollution, from land-based resources, industrial and commercial, establishment, agriculture and community household activities. It provides for comprehensive and integrated strategy to prevent and minimize pollution through a multi-sectoral and participatory approach involving all the stakeholders. Pursuant to Section 14, Article 2 of the Philippine Clean Water Act, all owners or operators of facilities that discharge regulated effluents shall secure a discharge permit from the Regional Office of the Environmental Management Bureau. All sources of air pollution subject to the guidelines shall have a permit to operate issued by the Regional Director. It is under our section, the Air and Wastewater Permitting Section, who evaluates and process wastewater discharge permit and permit to operate applications for commercial and industrial establishments that discharge regulated effluents and air pollution source installations, respectively. RN9003 is the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, and in partnership with stakeholders, the law aims to adopt a systematic, comprehensive, and ecological solid waste management program that shall ensure the protection of public health and environment. The law ensures proper segregation, collection, storage, treatment, and disposal of solid waste to accredited disposal facilities like sanitary landfill and use of other technologies like waste to energy. Climate change is a defining issue of our time, and we are at a defining moment. From shifting weather patterns that threaten food production to rising sea levels that increase the risk of catastrophic flooding. The impacts of climate change are global in scope and unprecedented in scale. Without drastic action today, adapting to these impacts in the future will be more difficult and costly. Under EO320, EMB is designated as the Secretariat of the Designated National Authority for CDM of the Kyoto Protocol to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. RA9512 or the Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008 provides for the promotion of environmental awareness through environmental education, which shall encompass environmental concepts and principles, behavioral change, the responsibility of the citizenry to the environment, and inculcating the value of conservation, protection, and rehabilitation of natural resources and the environment. The DEPED, the CHED, the TESDA, and the DSWD, in coordination with the DENR, the DOST, and other relevant agencies, is also responsible for implementing public education and awareness programs on environmental protection and conservation. RA9512, in a brief, encompasses the idea on Sa makakalikasang pagbabago, ako, ikaw, tayo ang kalikasan.